Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm serving Lux today, you know. I'm serving Amazonian Queen today. I'm serving Simba, Nala, you know. I'm serving Lion King today. Anyway, let's start the video. <laughs> Anyway, guys, welcome back to my channel, right? Um, this story time... I just don't mind my brushes. I just wash them, guys. This story time is actually serious. It's actually serious. Um, so, I've had my car for quite some time now, right? My car is old. It's, it's old. It's like five years. My car is old. And... I know, I know that, you know, I should be checking things all the time. And I do, occasionally. Not all the time, but I do. And because my car is so old, um, obviously it's going to start giving problems, you know. When I drive, I've been hearing this, like, funny sound, right? So when I drive, especially when I turn the wheel, um, it's just a funny sound. So I... Decided to take it in for like a mechanical service and I think that's what they call it mechanical service or something like that So I took it in for mechanical service and The lady checked everything and then When they came back with the invoice the ladies like okay your brakes need to be replaced your CV joints your shocks your shock mounts there's something wrong with your steering wheel I just looked at her like, okay, um, what is it going to cost me? And she's like, here's the invoice. And guys, <laughs> the invoice is 16000 Girl, 16000 to fix my car. Can you believe this? 16000 to fix my car. Anyway, I call... First thing I do, I call my dad, I call my brother, um, I double check with them. Called my mom, mom's on time, you're alone there, you know, you're by yourself, we're not always there, so just fix the car, um, you're a girl, you're a female, you're, you're driving by yourself, so just fix the car. I'm like, mom, there's no way all these things are wrong with my car, there's no way. So I call my brother, I call my dad, I call my uncle, you know, the guys that I know, actually know about cars. I love my mom dearly, but I asked for a second opinion. I decided to also just check Q, which is like a different place where I could check for my car, right? Excuse me. So, I'm loving this here, guys. I know. I know, right? Like, I'm talking and looking at myself. So, um, I go to Q. They check the car. Um, and the guy tells me, no, your CV joints are fine. I'm like, mm, well, looky, looky. CV joints are fine. Okay, cool. Um, he's like, it's the shocks and the shock mounts. But the, mo the main issue of my car is my steering rack. I'm like, yeah. When I do drive, I do hear like a sound. But it's not a CV joint sound. Because apparently, CV joints, when there's a problem with the CV joints, it sounds like it's a, it's like a, Guys, I don't know how to explain it, okay? But it's a really loud sound, okay? So, I knew it wasn't my CV joint. I knew those people were lying. So, I fixed I fixed my brake pads, and I'm like, listen, I don't know how much steering racks and those things cost, but let me get back to you. I speak to my uncle's brother-in-law. He checks the car. He's like, okay, fine. It's basically just your shock mounts. There's nothing wrong with your steering rack. Okay. So, now we've narrowed it down to the shock mounts and the, and the shocks. So the steering rack is fine, and CV joints is fine. Cool. <sighs> I'm out here trying to get money, right, to pay for this. And I recently had to go home. Um, I had to take some leave, went for my cousin's wedding. So I decided to drive down because it was just going to be cheaper for me to drive down, okay? So, I drive down with my uncle and a friend of mine and his girlfriend. So, we're four in the car with the baby. 
and I'm telling my uncle, you know, the drama with my car and everything. Obviously, you know how dramatic I am. And my uncle is like, okay, you know what? While we're driving home, he's going to listen. He's going to see, you know, what he finds with the car. And cool. So luckily, we make it safe home. And I'm back home. So I tell my brother, please just see if you can find someone who's willing to fix the shocks on my car. To one of the guys, it's like a garage 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 whatever the guy says for the shocks the shock marks is gonna cost me like three something i'm like okay cool okay cool that's a lot of money i could buy a wig with that money <laughs> i'm like you know what i need to go i need to use my car let me not even let me not even trip okay cool so the guy's like okay bring it back tomorrow i'm gonna see if i have some parts that can fit the car i bring it back the next day he's like he's gonna order you know, the, sh the stuff for the car to fix it. Orders it, comes back. I take the car back. So, you know, I'm home. I'm only driving short distances. So, um, I didn't really stress whilst driving the car while I was waiting for the parts. So, finally the parts came. Now, this is now the day bef of me going home. So, I take the car in early in the morning. I'm like, can you please fix it? Fine. The parts came. The guy checks it. 12 o'clock midday, my brother comes home. He's like, the parts don't fit. <sighs> so, which means I'm going to, one, I waited for nothing. Two, I'm going to have to drive back to Joburg with this car. Already I'm stressed out because I don't know when this thing is going to give in. I don't know if it really is the shock mounts. You know, all of those things are going through my head. So it's me, um, my friend again, and my cousin. So it's the three of us driving down with the baby. And, you know, I'm just like, you know, what? I don't, I'm going to have to fix my car here in Joburg where it's unnecessarily expensive. But anyway, so we come back, um, we drive three hours from the house, from my house. We, as we're driving, we just hear, go, go. I'm just like, what is happening? What is happening? We just hear, go, 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 As we're driving, I'm like, crap. Tire burst. <sighs> Three hours from my house. Anyway, luckily, you know, my friend drives really well. I'm holding the baby. I'm sitting at the back. So he's driving. Thank God there was no cars, you know, behind us close enough. You know, any, you know, unnecessary things. So with the, with the tire burst, you know, you just never know, guys. You just never know. You never know. And I was really scared. I was really freaking out. I'm sitting with this baby in my hand. I'm like, you need to get to your mother. <laughs> you know, I was so scared. Luckily, Gavin controls the car, which is also one of the things you don't know if you can do that with a, with a tire burst because you can just lose control. Gavin, you know, safely takes us off the road, stops the car, and I'm just like, crap. Car, um, my back light is shattered. My back bumper, because it was the, the, the tire at the back on the left the back bumper is like like broken i look i check the tire and i realize it's a retract tire i'm just like oh no the insurance is not gonna pay for this and i call my brother he's like you know bring the car then because i had to be in Joburg. i had to come back to Joburg. i had other things to do so my brother's like okay you know what let's just swap you take you take my car and i'll take yours for the time being and then i'll we'll just fix the car at home he's so sweet hey boo i love you my brother's the best guys my brother's just the best he is i love him love you Heima. anyway guys so i take my brother's car out you driving my i lie i lie take my brother's car 
and now we're driving back to Joburg. And what I realized about the situation, right? Okay, so security guard is looking at me and I'm filming. <laughs> so what I realized about the situation is that First of all, I think girl, we as girls, we do this a lot. We just get into a car. We don't check anything. We just assume everything is fine. And we drive off, you know. If I put petrol in the car, everything should be fine. And I think girls, we mostly, we do that. And thank God I drove with people who could change a tire because we had to put the spare tire on. Thank God I drove with people because I, I can tell you now, I don't know how to change a tire. And after this whole experience i'm i'm gonna have to learn how to how to change a tire because this can happen tire burst can literally happen with anyone you know what i mean so i think what i took from the situation i just need to do regular checks i need to know how especially if i'm a girl and i drive so if you're watching this and you drive you've got a license you have a car or you're using someone's car make sure that you at least know how certain things sound you know like CV joints. I didn't even know how they sound when they give in. You know what I mean? And like with the steering rack, like knowing the difference and how you know when your shocks are giving in, when there's, I didn't even know. Apparently, if you see the oil and if you see the dirt around the shocks, then you know they're starting to give in or they, they're done. Checking the tire pressures when you when you're driving the car. Because what I used to do, or what I actually normally do, is I'll check the, the tire pressure when I fill up my car, right? Which is, which is fair. So, I'll fill it up, I'll, I'll check the tire pressures when I fill up. But after, other than that, I don't. So, if I drive with my car for three weeks, if I drive in my car for however long, I'm just not going to care after that. I'm not going to care. I don't, the guy, the guys at the petrol station keep asking water and oil is it fine ma'am i'm just like it's fine i don't know and i think that's what i learned from this experience because one thank god you know thank god we were safely off the road and you know we could calm down and just relax a bit but if i was driving i don't know how i would have handled the situation i have no idea how to handle that situation it hit me. It just hit me. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. And as dramatic as it sounds, if you've ever had a tire burst, you know that it's, it, you don't know. You don't know how the situation is going to go. You have absolutely no idea. So please make sure you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of your belongings. Take care of your um, things that you buy. You know, the mechanical stuff. Get to know it. Know how it works. Know what's happening with it. You know, know how to put water in the car. You know, know how to check for oil. Know how much it costs to put oil in the car. My car is, my car is being fixed currently. Thank God my brother gave me his car to drive around, go to work and stuff like that. So my car is being fixed. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's my story guys. I was, I was, yeah, it was crazy. I'm not even going to lie. It was crazy. Um, so yeah guys make sure you guys like make sure you subscribe I'm just gonna sit here you know and wait for you to finish watching this video wait for you to watch all of my other videos and yeah share it make sure you you keep up with your girl cuz you know <laughs> I need to stop doing that um, thank you guys for watching God bless you I'll see you guys next time